Hey guys, in this tutorial I'm going to be introducing you to the Crazy Talk plugin for Unity. I'm going to go through the steps on how to install it and basically show you a little sample of the, uh, the demo project that's included and show you some of the capabilities of the plugin itself. So we have a, we currently have a, uh, an empty project uh, right now, an empty scene uh, where there's absolutely no assets in the folder here. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is go down to my desktop where I have this file here. This is a uh, Unity package file for the plugin. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, decompress that into our scene and go ahead and import all the stuff. You can see there's another Unity package in there um, called demo and that is the Unity package that contains the demo scene. So it's going to extract all the resources that it needs for the plugin, a couple of shaders and everything like that, and then we'll go ahead and go to the CD plugin folder and roll that down and there's another folder called demo set. So with the demo set we have that Unity package uh, demo like I mentioned before and we'll just go ahead and double click that to extract it. Now this is going to extract all the materials that we need for the demo project, including the uh, the scene right here, a couple of animations, and all that other fun stuff. So let's go ahead and import that. Um, for those of you who aren't familiar with Crazy Talk, it's a uh, program that's essentially focused on facial animation for 2D images. Now this could be a 2D, this could be a photo that you've taken of, of your friend, your cat, or your dog. Uh, it could be an image that you've created in uh, Illustrator or uh, Photoshop. Or it could be a 2D, a 2D rendition of your uh, 3D model as well, um, which I'll show you in just a moment. Uh, and this demo project that I'm going to present, um, we have uh, basically all three, and we're going. I'm going to be showing you how to, uh, you know, how to use the uh, plugin to, I guess, uh, essentially animate these characters and uh, give them some sort of expression. Uh, Crazy Talk can do uh, automatic lip sync as well as uh, real-time facial puppet. So it's a fairly quick and light tool. Uh, okay, so now that our demo project has uh, been exported here or uh, decompressed, let's go ahead and load up the scene. Let's load up our demo project scene. So once that loads, you can see on the screen we have a couple of beautiful crates. Uh, nothing much to speak of, just our uh, demo project uh, background that we're going to uh, import some stuff into. And you can see now that we have this uh, kind of creepy looking scientist staring at us intently in the game view. And that scientist is actually one of the characters, one of the character layers in our scene. And he actually corresponds with this game object right here, CT root 2. If I press uh, the F key in the scene view, you'll see it'll actually go down um, and uh, look at that layer, which is way below my scene. However, this um, scientist here has his own camera. Each of these game objects actually contain their own camera. And this is done automatically uh, with a culling mask effect to mask out the background. And basically the only thing that's going to the main camera is this character right here. And if we take a look at the character, um, I'm going to just kind of pan around here. You can see it's not actually 2D, it's actually 2.5D. Um, so there's a little bit of, of extrusion of the mesh here, and that creates a, a feeling of greater depth uh, to your character. And you can also um, uh, apply these types of uh, these masks to uh, 3D characters as well, which we'll get into in a later tutorial. Um, there's also this CT root here, this nobleman, if I press F on him, you can see it just shows the mesh because uh, we currently don't have him shown. Alright, so that's the, uh, that's the basic uh, characters that are in your scene. There's also a cat right here, which I'll show you uh, a bit later. But let's go up now and uh, go into Crazy Talk. We have this Crazy Talk item on the menu now, and we'll select the Avatar Editor. And that'll bring up this window here. Let's go ahead and uh, dock this over by the inspector. I'm going to log out really quick. and I'm just going to log in with this uh, free account and it's going to come up with a notification telling me that uh, you're using the free version of Crazy Talk Unity plugin. And go press OK. And we have the option for video tutorials, online help, a full version uh, purchase down here. But let's go ahead and load an actor. This is going to be the first step that we do. We go to load actor, and each, act or each actor rather needs to be added onto its own layer. So normally what we would do is we would add a layer here if we didn't already have actors in our scene. Let's go ahead to uh, select our characters. You can see there's a nobleman right there and a number of different options here that are all grayed out currently. Um, you can see we have the scientist and there's our uh, evil little cat. And they each contain all their, their own set of motions. Now these motions are scripts which you can import into Unity uh, directly from Crazy Talk. Uh, so they all have these as well. But let's go ahead now and just run our demo project and I'll show you a little bit of the uh, about the capabilities of the plugin. So I'm going to go into uh, play mode and you can see now that our uh, scientist just kind of appears, uh, fades in on the screen and right away his eyes will follow the mouse cursor. You can see at the bottom of the screen there 
because we have the look at status on and the gaze is off. And I'll talk more about gaze uh, later on. Now let's go ahead and uh, right away let's make this guy a little bit bigger so you can see him a little better. And scale him up there and uh, bring him up on the y-axis so you can see him. So you can see this is kind of like the perfect scenario for uh, you know any sort of RPG or real-time strategy or any sort of game really where you, where you have a talking character. Maybe a, a dialogue box here along the uh, right hand side. Um, it's just it's very easy to export this type of uh, content from Crazy Talk. So we, let's take a look at the other characters. We also have a cat, a kind of sneaky looking cat right there. And here is our uh, nobleman. This is guy is a uh, 2D image from a 3D uh, CG character. You can choose to show and hide these guys, fade them in and out. The duration uh, can be set right here. And all this stuff can be done in the code, obviously, but I'm just kind of using this little GUI interface here to uh, to show you the, uh, to demonstrate the demo project. Uh, so in the motions, we have a number of different motions. We have everything from evil laughs to uh, different conversations. And what I'm going to do is just go ahead and run one of these here. Let's go and use this one. Oh, yeah. Who's getting some? Me. All right. We can uh, change characters and have the, uh, you know, different Well, voice. like they say, a day without sunshine is like, you know, night. Okay. And um, we can choose the cat as well. And wait, say something. wait a minute. That's the wrong way. We need to go through this tunnel. Follow me, quick. Okay. And of course, uh, all, all, these, uh, all these scripts are interchangeable between the characters. So it's either this or that, but we could consider the other. Wait, wait a minute! All right, that one's a little loud, but uh, just to show you that all the uh, all the characters are interchangeable, and uh, all, sorry, rather all the emotions are interchangeable for all the characters. And then on top of that, on top of the uh, script motions, we also have idle motions, which you can add in as well. For example, if I change this from default to upset, you can see we have our character kind of uh, you know twitching his eye there a little bit. We can switch over to the scientist, and there's the scientist's uh, annoyed look, and even the cat can look annoyed as well. <laughs> so, and then there's, uh, of course, the pleasant uh, pleasant look. Um, we go to the scientist. Maybe it looks a little bit creepy, but uh, that's the pleasant idle anyways. We'll go back to default for now. And, of course, for the look at, you can choose the game view full screen. Uh, right now the game view is full screen, so it doesn't really matter. And there's also target tracking. You can set uh, target tracking for your look at as well. So if you're in your game and you need your uh, character to follow an object, you can get them to follow it with a like higher strength where his eyes are really rolling or just barely um, with a lower strength like that. And you can also set a delay. So if I set this delay up to like 0.5 seconds, you can see he's kind of slowly following the object around. And that's just uh, the delay. Uh, you can set that to whatever you like. I'll just bring this back to uh, full screen right here. And then, of course, like I showed you before, there's uh, the options to set the initial position, X, Y, and, and uh, scale right there. And there's also transform animations here. So let's go ahead and uh, give this a shot. Let's tr uh, transform him to the bottom right of the screen by clicking this button. And he'll actually scale down because I have scaling set at one time. Uh, now if I set it to 2 and I go maybe to a center, he'll pop up. Oops, sorry. Let's go to a 2 times here and try left bottom. There you go. He'll scale up like that. And maybe I'll just bring that up a little bit. And maybe if we set this down to like 0.5 and uh, put in the top left he'll scale down really really small there and uh, you can basically do all this in the coding but this is kind of, of course like I mentioned just a little demo for you let's put him back into the left bottom and we'll just scale him up to about two like we had at the original size all right so let's keep him there for now and then we have these gaze animations as well uh, last but not least these gaze animations allow you to uh, you know um, have your character uh, gaze in a certain direction for uh, whatever uh, duration of time you would like. So let's, for example, try uh, something like uh, 180. So he'll be looking down and play that. So you can see he just glances down really quickly and then continues his original uh, look, his, uh, the look in the original direction. So let's go down to maybe uh, try zero and let's try a two second glance. And you can see he'll glance up for two seconds and then back like this. We can even do something like uh, 90 degrees to the side and 0.2 seconds uh, there we go and play that so you can see i'll glance like 0.2 seconds just a really quick glance over to the side all right so that's basically it for uh for um introducing this demo project those are just a couple of the functions that you can use um you know in your in your code 
with the Crazy Talk plugin, and we'll get more into that in the next tutorial. Again, this is the free version, so everything that uh, you see here you can uh, mess around with on your own time for free. And uh, so I guess that's about it. Um, we're going to have other tutorials, like I mentioned, on uh, different aspects of the plugin. So stay tuned for more, and uh, thanks for watching.